I've always been, I was involved in singing and choirs and vocal ensembles since I was a little kid and all the way through school and high school and college. And Sam Elliott is a popular American actor, voice actor, and film producer who's well known for his deep voice, thick horseshoe mustache, and rangy physique. He's mostly cast as a rancher or cowboy in television shows and films due to his heavy drawl, deep voice, and mustache. Sam's won a National Board of Review Award and has been nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and an Academy Award. In 2015, he won the Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Guest Performer in a Drama Series, and in 2018, Sam won the Georgia Film Critics Association Award for Best Supporting Actor. I just think it's, you know, I think it's been given short shrift by Hollywood for a long time, and I think they've wasted some money on some really big blockbuster westerns that if you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Samuel Pack Elliott, but is also known as Sam. He was born on August 9, 1944 in Sacramento, California, United States, making him 76 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.82 meters or 6 feet 2 inches tall. The color of Sam's eyes is brown, and his hair is brown. Moreover, this actor weighs around 86 kilograms, and his star sign is Leo. Back in 1988, this famous actor was named the Grand Marshal of the Calgary Stampede. Back in 1982, Sam dropped out of the TV movie titled The Ambush Murders due to illness. Let me tell you that James Brolin replaced Sam. In 2015, Sam was inducted into the International Mustache Hall of Fame, this successful actor has appeared in three films that were nominated for Oscars for Best Picture. These films include A Star is Born, Up in the Air, and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. During the 2020 U.S. presidential election, Sam publicly supported Joe Biden. He also narrated a campaign advertisement for Biden. Sam has dogs, cats, horses, and chickens at his house. Back in 2015, this actor stated in an interview that social media is of little interest to him. Back in the year 1984, Sam married Catherine Ross, who's an actress. Let me tell you that Catherine played the lead role in the film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and Sam played a small role in this film. Moreover, Sam had no scenes with Catherine. The movie was released in 1969, and the pair started dating in 1978. In 1978, Sam and Ross starred together in The Legacy. Together, they have a daughter named Cleo Rose Elliott. She was born September 17, 1984, and is a musician in Malibu. Let me tell you that Sam is the fifth husband of Ross. I never thought about it as trying to have an, a need to prove something to him other than I wanted him to be proud of me. So. He was born to Glenn Mamie and Henry Nelson Elliott. Let me tell you that Glenn was a physical training instructor as well as a high school teacher. On the other hand, Henry was a predator control specialist for the Department of Interior. Sam's parents were originally from El Paso, Texas. One of Elliot's ancestors served as a surgeon at the Battle of San Jacinto. Sam moved to Portland, Oregon, and at that time, Elliot was 13 years old. During his teenage years, he lived in Northeast Portland and attended David Douglas High School. Sam graduated from high school in 1962. Later, he went to the University of Oregon. Sam dropped out after two terms and returned to Portland. At Portland, he went to Clark College in Washington. At Clark College, Sam completed a two-year program and was also cast as Big Jewel in the stage production of Guys and Dolls. In 1965, Sam graduated from Clark College and eventually re-enrolled at the University of Oregon. Unfortunately, Sam's father died, and again, he dropped out of the University of Oregon before completing his studies. Sam's father had died due to a heart attack. During the late 1960s, this man moved to Los Angeles where he pursued a career in acting. Let me also tell you that Sam's father had dissuaded him from doing this and urged him to obtain a college degree. While Sam was studying acting, he worked in construction. This man also served in the California Air National Guard's 146th Airlift Wing. 
Later, Sam relocated to the Channel Islands Air National Guard Station. Sam started his acting career as a character actor. Then, in 1969, he got his first TV credit in an episode of Judd for the Defense. During the same year, Sam also appeared in the show called Lancer. His early film role was in the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, which was released in 1969. Between 1970 and 1971, Sam appeared in many episodes of the hit series Mission Impossible. Then he starred in the TV film I Will Fight No More Forever in 1975. The next year, Sam starred in the summer sleeper hit titled Lifeguard. It's considered Sam's feature film breakthrough. Then in 1977, Sam appeared in the miniseries Aspen and appeared in the miniseries called Murder in Texas in 1981. In 1985, he had a supporting role in the hit film Mask. And in 1989, this famous actor appeared in the Christmas film titled Prancer. Sam has also made several guest appearances on shows including Gunsmoke, Felony Squad, Hawaii Five-0, and Lancer. This man has also been featured in several television movies such as Buffalo Girls, which was released in 1995. Sam has starred in the television movie Gone to Texas, and in 1989 he played the role of Wade Garrett in Roadhouse. In 1993, this actor played the role of General John Buford in the historical drama called Gettysburg. During the same year, Sam also appeared in the Western, Tombstone. Then in 1998, Sam appeared in The Big Lebowski and co-starred in We Were Soldiers, which was released in 2002. The action film Hulk, which was released in 2003, the actor appeared as General Thaddeus Ross. Two years later, Sam appeared in Thank You for Smoking, and in 2006, Elliot voiced the character Ben the Cow in the animated film Barnyard. This man had a small part in Up in the Air back in the year 2009. Sam's also played in the FX network shows called Justified. In 2015, he won the Critics' Choice TV Award for his role on this show. The same year, the actor appeared in the Netflix series called The Ranch. Then in 2017, the actor played the lead role in The Hero. They were gentlemen. I mean, they, were, they weren't assholes, they were nice men, but they were hardcore, they were hardworking men. Sam has made money as an actor. He's also produced a number of television series and movies. The highest grossing of Sam's movies include The Good Dinosaur, The Golden Compass, and A Star is Born. On average, he earns around one to three million dollars per year. Sam's salary from Grandma was one million dollars, and he earned five hundred thousand dollars from Justified. The total net worth of Sam Elliott is $10 million. Elliott lives in a beautiful ranch in Malibu, along with his wife. Moreover, Sam has a house in Harrisburg, Oregon. The actor also has ownership of his childhood home in Northwest Portland. His house in Harrisburg is worth $560,000 and features three bedrooms, a swimming pool, and two bathrooms. Sam Elliott likely owns the following cars. A Chevy Suburban, a Ram truck, a Cadillac CTS, Ford Mustang. 